What is going on guys? My name is Will Kelly and my wife and I, we own Military Lawn Cuts where we did close to $600,000 in annual sales last year. And in today's video, what we are going to be talking about is our hiring and orientation and training process for the first two weeks anytime we hire a new employee. And so basically over here, if you look at the whiteboard, there are a few things that I wrote down in chronological order. This is basically how we take a brand new employee that's off the street that has no experience with mowing or doing landscaping or any type of work like that, plug them into our system and get them profitable as quickly and efficiently as possible. So if you take a look at number one, so what we always like to do anytime it's their very first day on the job is we do an actual physical walkthrough of the workspace of the units that we hold our equipment the shop where they're going to be working where they're going to be able to put their drinks and things like that and with that we give them our mission our vision and our core values so that way they know exactly the type of culture that they're getting into i see too many times people hiring and i've heard a lot of our employees that said that they went and worked at other companies and literally the first couple of hours, they're thrown right into a truck and out on a route. This is where these uh, our team members are going to be uh, working for a while. We want to make sure that we don't just look at them as a number and try to throw them into a route as quickly as possible. So, uh, number one is the walkthrough. Now, number two is actual physically orientation. So, what we do is we sit down with them after we do the walkthrough, give them our mission, and what we do is we have about five sets of PowerPoints that we go through. It just goes over all of the basics, like having a, you have the uniform, what does it mean to be tardy, our profit sharing program, all that stuff that um, you know they could take advantage of. Number three. So what we do is we print off a about a five page document that basically sums up our entire company policy, but pulls out all of the key bullet points for profit sharing, P for P. You know, what is an unexcused absence? How many unexcused absences can you have? How many days in advance do you have to put in for uh, paid time off? Do you get paid time off? All of these key questions that a new employee may have, we put in this document. And so that way they know exactly um, what is expected of them. And it answers about 99% of their questions. So um, a lot of them are the same questions that we get. We just put them in that document. So we call it the common questions, rules, regulations. That's the document uh, for number three. Now, number four, uh, what we do is we do a lot of mowing services. And then we also do a lot of projects and landscape jobs. So especially for these two, they're kind of similar, the same, but we always start our team members off on the mowing because it's a lot more simple. Uh, on the projects, there is a little bit more attention to detail. You may have to talk to customers and things like that. But basically what we do here is we have a, a standard operating procedure of a chronological order on how we actually do the property, which is basically mow, weedy, edge, and blow. That simple. We also do uh, an aerial view of the property on a piece of paper and show them the uh, uh, correct formation on how they should go about what is what we found to be the most efficient way uh, to mow weedy edge of blow property. And then after that, we also do some video training and then we do some hands-on training. So what we do is when we take somebody and plug them into our system, they're getting PowerPoint training, they're getting a standard operating procedure, they're getting a visual, which is an, uh, a video training, and then they're actually getting hands-on. So we're hitting four core pieces of training to make sure that our team is set up to go out there and conduct the job at a, at a quality manner, um, that they that they need to be okay moving on to number five we have our projects it's basically the same thing we do the exact same process that we do for the lawn mowing just tailored to more of the projects which is basically bush trimming bed maintenance mulch installation any kind of landscape type of work now what I wanted to talk about here to kind of wrap this up is there are four levels of leadership that we train throughout our organization anytime that we talk walk somebody through a process. So our goal is to get our team trained up within two weeks, completely efficient at lawn mowing projects, 
and understanding all of the types of services that we offer, which is just basic services. It's nothing complex like hardscaping or anything like that. And the reason we do that is because the faster we can get that person up and running and profitable, the more the profit for the company will be able to increase as well. So there are four levels of leadership when we are taking somebody through this training process. And the first step when we take them out into the field and do the hands-on training is I do, you watch. And so what this does is it allows that new team member to visually see what right looks like. And so sometimes I'll go out there and I'll, depending on their experience, I'll mow, mow weedy edge and blow the entire property because I want them to see what a good role model of right looks like. And then after that, once they have a good gist of that, then we move on to they do, I watch. And at that time, I'm coaching and I'm critiquing and I'm praising them for what they're doing well, okay? Now, after that, once I feel confident in that, what we do is we let them go out solo by themselves, and then I follow up and spot check some of the properties to make sure that they're retaining a good quality of service uh, without any supervision there. And then again, critiquing, coaching, seeing what needs to be improved, also praising them if it looks really good. Now after that, the fourth level of leadership is they go and duplicate that same process, but now they are the trainer. And that is the four levels of leadership that we try to implement in our company, along with the five core uh, pivotal foundational steps anytime we are training a new employee to get them up and running and profitable within two weeks as quickly as possible. Or like this video if you guys made it all the way to the end here. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and uh, leave a comment below if you have uh, any questions in regards to how we train or what this process looks like. Let me know and um, we'll see you guys next time.